All right, let's sit you down right here. Yeah, let's try this again. I just recorded a 20 minute video and the audio was all screwed up. Just noticed after I went up, try edit it. So, it's uh, three in the morning. Let's try this again. So, here's the amp. Um, don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. Uh, maybe just the red special. Um, it's a valve special, it's red now. It has like a vintage look. And because Brian May is awesome, I don't know. Um, anyways, let's go through what I did to the amp. Uh, this amp actually has the preamp circuit for a version of the number 34 SIR amp I found online. The number 34 is famously used by Slash during the Use, Use the Illusion um, albums and tour. Uh, the number 34 is based on the number 36 and number 39, which was famously used on <clears throat> AFD. Um, wow, I can't remember what AFD stands for. Appetite for Destruction, there we go. Uh, and Lynch also used it on, apparently, Under Lock and Key or Back to the Attack. I'm not certain uh, which one. But the number 34 is based on that with one less triode, um, so it's not as gainy although it can get similar tones. Um, I decided to make this version because I tried making the four gain stage version and it's just too much gain, it's completely, I think it's unusable and I don't know how you can use it without getting wicked squeal because even this can squeal and this has one less gain stage. So the power amp is a um, single ended output. It has an EL84 and a 6V6 for probably about like 14 watts or so just like as a rough estimate. I think it's really loud. Um, and with the two tubes in parallel, the distorted tone that you get from it is actually really, really cool uh, when you push it into the uh, power power uh, output tube breakup, which doesn't take a whole hell of a lot with this amp. Uh, once you get to like half on master volume, it kind of starts to get there. So let's go through this. Uh, <clears throat> let's go through the knobs. We have a slope resistor knob over here. Up in the middle is about 33K. To the right is uh, around 100. And at the bottom, you can go all the way down to 1.7, um, which I wouldn't do. It's not really a good sound, but <clears throat> just have a knob there for the fun of it. I usually just kind of keep it up straight unless I'm playing clean tones. This is the first pre gain. There's two pre gains in this. This one is after V1A. And this is pre gain two, which is after uh, V1B going into V2A. Um, treble, middle, bass. Um, then this is the cathode bypass um, cap for, I believe this one is v, V2A. And it'll switch between the middle, which is just the 10K um, resistor unbypassed then that way is a 10k resistor with a 0.1 cap and at the bottom is it uh, in parallel with another resistor bringing it down to about 2.2k making it much hotter and louder and then you got master volume and then you got the volume for the second channel which is actually in the back because I ran out of room up front uh, it's a lot cleaner it's voiced a little differently it's kind of more just like a normal plexi than a hot rodded plexi um, then in back, we also have two other switches for the cathode by cap, bypass cap on V1A. Um, we got a 0.68 microfarad, a nothing in the middle, and then a 20 microfarad at the bottom. And then the last switch is for the V1B cathode resistor, which is nothing in the middle, um, 0.68 and 10 microfarads. I can probably bring that one down. I mean, I, I don't find a whole heck of a lot of difference when I'm using that cathode resistor. It doesn't do a whole hell of a lot. Um, but I'm going to put all the 0.68s on. We're going to put this on 0.1 with 10K, and then I'm going to set this up for the relative settings um, that were used on the Use Your Illusion number 34. So, there's a lot of power amp game, so we're going to crank the master pregame set really low but once you hear this thing it's not going to sound like the pregame is low so let's give it a shot
was in drop D. Let's fix that. A very similar sound. It's not exactly the same, but it's very close at a much uh, lower volume. Actually, we can turn this one up all the way. just, you know, crank up the power amp distortion and uh, play. You, you can get a lot of different sounds out of it, especially if you play with the two volume knobs. Oh. Try the uh, hot cathode resistor here. Um, brings in a lot more bass, so I'm going to crank these guys up a little. Crank the bass back. Um, push this guy, crank this one back a little bit. And this kind of gives you like that hot rotted plexi kind of tone. <laughs> JCM 800 kind of sound um, cuts out a lot of gain though, so you can you can end up pushing this quite a bit without issue. <laughs> cathode resistor then let's go to listen <laughs> Thank you. 
and we can make it much cleaner if we go ahead and take the cathode bypass cap out. Let's take both of them out actually. <laughs> clean tone for three gain stages um, let's go ahead and put the 10 microfarad uh, 20 microfarad cap in just for some uh, more fender-esque sound <laughs> is very loose. <laughs> Try that again. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I gotta get some retainer clips for the for the tubes back there. Do some rockabilly. My 6v6 socket is a little loose. Um, I don't know, just came that way. scared the shit out of me because I put so much stock in yep that's exactly what it is it's that tube <laughs> all right um let's see what else can we show off here we did some clean sounds we did a lot of dirty let's let's try the other channel in the back if the amp will let me yeah it, it will it's gonna be an ass about it um so this side of the channel runs a completely separate uh, triode stage, single triode stage, into the cathode follower. Um, actually, sorry, not the tag, cathode follower. Uh, it runs it into V2B, which is a warm biased um, gain stage. So <clears throat> V2B actually has a bypass cap as well. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put it on. The point six eight. Every time this thing's gonna vibrate, it's gonna make that noise. Now, it was working perfectly fine earlier, but now when I'm doing this video again, not so much. All right, let me try to wiggle this guy a little bit. <laughs> Here we go. I think that's gonna work. Much thinner sound, uh, much more like JC, J, um, JTM, JMP maybe. I'm sorry, I, I can't. JTM 45. There we go. Um, can do uh, ki kind of Fender-ish, not not a hundred percent, but kind of get there. <laughs> hollow mids, but it, it can't really do the fullness that a Fender does, but it's, it's a nice clean. It's kind of its own sound. Uh, if you crank it up, you know, quite a bit, maybe throw on 
uh, the 20 or you know, the 10 microfarad bypass cap, you can get a more bluesy sound. <laughs> this up too, crank that back a little bit because it's gonna make noises, um, you can do a, you know, normal crank plexus out. <laughs> very, very loud to get to do that though, um, but it, it's, you know, that classic sound that everyone, everyone likes, um, but you know, I have the most fun with this channel. And you know what better? Because I was tweaking this thing for so goddamn long. But you know what? It's finally really cool sounding. Um, you know, I really like it. And it does a whole hell of a lot. You know, you can do uh, some heavy metal sounds. You can do 80s rock. You can do hard rock. It's, it's a cool ass amp. <laughs> My dream amp. I'm very proud of how it came out. I think it looks pretty killer. Uh, when I play it through the 4x12 cab, you know it's even cooler. It does that full-on heavy metal rock tone. Uh, it sounds even better than that. I mean, that has a Veteran 30 in it right now. It's that push kind of vintage 30 sound the Celestians have, uh, but I have some greenbacks in the 4x12 and oh, together with that thing, mm, killer. So yeah, uh, that was the amp. Um, thanks for all the help. If you're watching this on uh, SE Watt or DIY Audio or wherever I've posted this, um, but it's been really helpful, and you've got me to not shoot myself because uh, this thing's been a pain in the ass. But it's finally done. I'm not going to tweak it anymore. I, I probably will, um, but I don't want to because it's finally perfect. Um, I'm going to hopefully get some real tone clips up with... A microphone and all that and um 
you know, hopefully this will do it justice. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you soon, probably.